Hey Bolt Hunters, today coming at you with another Borderlands 3 video. Uh, in this video, we're going to be going over the evolution of my High Noon uh, Maggie build for Zane. So I, I made that build when Mayhem 3 was the pinnacle uh, difficulty level in the game. And in that build, we basically had a Maggie and we were able to run around clear soda shaft with just one gun but mayhem four is out and there's been a massive increase to uh, enemy health and shields and armor and so that build just simply does not work out of the box in mayhem four so i've had to make some changes to it and this is where i am with it currently so i wanted to just do an updated video on that build so we're just going to get into the build here real quick i'm going to start with the gear because of course uh, gear drives skills. So we have a Maggie. Um, in this variant, I'm using uh, the one that has the Terror Anointment that increases crit damage. Once the uh, the Halloween event is gone and the skulls are gone from the game, then I'm going to put something else in. I'm probably going to put this one in. Uh, it's not going to be as powerful because the, the crit damage on this one is 30%, but the terror anointed crit at max is 90%. So this is just to prevent the terror from um, making a mess. Uh, so once the event is over, then switching to a different variant of the Maggie is probably going to be our best option here. Um, the other thing you should notice with this build that's different from the first is again the first one only had the Maggie now we actually have all four weapon slots occupied and they all serve a purpose so this is uh, an engulfing shred of fire this one has the new mayhem one of the new mayhem four anointments and this is for stripping armor um, so it actually outperforms uh, the corrosive version of the exact same gun because of the um, because of the anointment. So we have a hundred bullets in this particular gun and so for each hit of a bullet we increase by one percent so by the time we get to the last clip we basically double the damage. So it's a really good gun for stripping shields. Next up we have a brainstormer. I'm uh, not brainstormers for stripping shields. Uh, the, uh, the shredder fires for sh uh, stripping armor and then we have a new addition the, the final new addition to the build which is the Hellwalker and this is our cleanup gun so we don't want to depend solely on the Maggie to kill everything because we run out of bullets because of all the uh, the increase in health so the whole idea this is more like a, a traditional Borderlands 2 kind of build or Borderlands the pre-sequel kind of build where you just have um, a different weapon to deal with different elemental types and different kinds of enemies and uh, because of how the mayhem modifiers work in mayhem 4 you know there is no longer uh, that need to let's say put in a pistol when um, pistols are buffed or putting in put in an, uh, a pistol when yeah, sniper rifles are, are nerfed or something like that so it's a change in how we play so uh, the old build had a big boom blaster. This one maintains the big boom blaster. But what's the difference in this version is that we're actually going to be swapping gear. Um, yeah, gear swapping is now a thing. So what we're going to be swapping with is a transformer. You can use anything you want. Um, I'm just using the transformer because the transformer is probably one of the, is the best shield in the game, one of the best shields in the game. So basically, whenever my shield gets broken or my barrier goes down, I'm going to switch to the transformer so I get a little bit more tankiness versus um, the big boom blaster. Uh, next up, we have a uh, executor com. This is pretty much it's almost a god roll. The only thing that doesn't make it a god roll is that if we had five points in playing dirty instead of um, the other two skills, but this is pretty damn good. And then we're going to be using uh, this grenade. The grenade itself doesn't matter. What's important though is the uh, the anointment. This is a, again one of the new mayhem for anointments and this is also a place where we're going to be doing uh, gear swapping and so this buggy ass game 
uh, we're going to be swapping with the epicenter to get fire or with the red queen to get that cryo bonus so if you guys are sleeping on the the new anointments for cryo bonuses or elemental bonuses don't there it's really 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 good because even if you don't match the element um, of the enemy that you're shooting you're still doing more damage than you otherwise would do so don't sleep on these it'd be great though if it was like a, a piss for one of these you know because then you get the 20% damage buff from the piss plus the 50% from the elemental so that would just be six if any guys if you, any of you guys have a piss with these new anointments please hook me up and finally we have the uh, the artifact we're of course it's going to be an icebreaker victory rush particularly because we are in the slaughter shaft and there are nothing but badasses in here there are a shit ton of badasses so that 18% damage is going to be crucial um, and the big boom blaster that 10% damage so we're just basically stacking up these small incremental amounts of damage um, so that we can take these enemies down okay so that's it for the loadout now for the skill tree um, this is a calm cool collected build so we're skipping uh, heavy stock which was selected in the previous version of the build to give the big boom blaster um, more sustain but in this version we're not even going to try to sustain we're just going to swap to a better shield whenever it goes down so we're really only using the big boom blaster to get the boosters and so we can keep calm cool collected proc because the boosters one booster restores six percent of your shield so two boosters will get your shield back to full which means um, calm cool collected doesn't have to worry about shields it only has to worry about getting our health back or resetting our action skills um, the other thing is that the 10%, like I said before, the boosters so that we can increase damage by 10%. So it's really just about the boosters when it comes to the Big Boom Blaster. Uh, no ready for action. We don't care about shield recharge rate or shield recharge delay because we're going to be picking up boosters. And for example, let's say we switch to, um, uh, to the Transformer. The boosters on the floor will restore the Transformer's uh, shield. So we don't have to worry about recharge delay and recharge rate we're just going to use the boosters to keep our shields up so we have no points in these two um, adrenaline of course we have we're maxing that out so we can get some action skill cooldown it's really really important in this particular build because uh, of the bug in the game right now where action skill uh, cooldown from guardian ranks is not doesn't seem to be working as well as it used to um, next up of course brain freeze that's a no-brainer stiff upper lip for um, damage reduction I'm putting a full five points and rise to the occasion um, because we don't need these skill points and we need to get down the tree and more healing is always good it, it's not necessarily going to health gate us but it can keep dots from killing us so this is not for uh, it's not for health gating it's just for keeping dots at bay uh, of course confident confidence it got a uh, an increase in damage uh, from 25 to 35 percent in the patch so that's good stuff um, really expensive jacket again this is for dots we're skipping over this they buffed it but it still sucks and of this futility belt these two pair well together so step up a lip and futility belt pair really well together because essentially futility belt turns all elemental damage into non-elemental damage and this reduces um, all damage so uh, no points in refreshment we're gonna get, get all our healing from salvation um, instead of refreshment because there's no guaranteed freeze um, anymore so no refreshment this is the center or the heart of the bill come cool collected of course to restore our shields our health and eventually our action skills now fully three points into nerve of steel this is actually a DPS spend um, and it's a DPS spend for two reasons. One is the Maggie. Um, Maggie has 33% accuracy, so it's not that accurate. So by putting three points in, what that means for us is that we can proc um, brain freeze further away than we otherwise would be able to. 
So by increasing our accuracy, we increase the effective range of the Maggie. So that's number one. So that's a DPS benefit, right? Because more pellets landing on crit spots means increased chance of proccing brain freeze. The other one is the Hellwalker. The Hellwalker has a, uh, um, a non-standard uh, bullet pattern. It's a, what do you call those things again? I'll remember before we get to the end of the video. But anyway, if we don't increase the accuracy dramatically, we are significantly losing damage. In order to get the maximum damage out of the Hellwalker, we want to get that, that um, pentagon. Pentagram is what it is, yeah. So it shoots in a pentagram pattern. And it's at a lot of pellets. So if you want to get all those pellets on a crit spot, we need to have a really, really, really tight spread. And so by cranking up the accuracy to maximum, we significantly increase the damage of the Hellwalker. I mean, it's 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 a major increase. It's not a minor thing. Um, and the Hellwalker is what we use for cleanup. So getting that extra damage is kind of crucial. So that's why we're spending a full three points into Nerves of Steel. And of course, we have to get distributed them now so that it can work with the big boom blasters to drop all the boosters. Um, our augments are going to be, of course, all around her for the cooldown and the uh, 360 protection and deterrence field. Deterrence field, really, really important because we don't want to get meleeed. Um, next up, we are Cold Boar. Now, in a previous build, we had one gun, so we didn't care about s swapping. In this build, we're going to be swapping a lot. Therefore, we need the swap speed, or we want the swap speed, because swap speed would affect DPS. And then we get the additional benefit of 30% cryo bonus damage, which scales with the damage of your gun. Uh, drone delivery, because that's our only source of grenade in this build. This is our source of healing, or major source of healing, lifesteal here in Salvation, so we're putting a full five points in it. And death follows close, primarily for the kill skill, the kill skill duration, uh, and the 25% bonus, which isn't a ton, but it's better than zero. Um, the rest of these we're getting from the calm. Um, we're going into Winter's drone for freezing. Ooh, I need to take that off. I was running something else. So, and bad dose, uh, so we can get some movement speed, some fire rate, and. Uh, radiation explosions. From the double agent tree, synchronicity of course, and Donnybrook which also got a buff in the patch that just came out. So that's it for um, for the gear and for the build. Here's my guardian rank. So I've been through two rounds of the slaughter shafts already. As I said, I don't, I don't do editing. So I figured I'd do the last three rounds in real time uh, no fancy edits if I fuck up you guys get to see it now this is not an OP build this is not going to be a cakewalk cake walk. we're going to have to play smart all right like these guys have shields so stripping all those shields this will be just for the crack Nice. Get this don't seem to have any aim right now. Let's freeze this guy. Now, this is what I'm talking about, that range. See that? I was able to freeze him from way to hell back there. That's... Uh, I forgot to swap. Let's get out of here. Get some cover. Alright. We're safe. We're just going to wait for... Actually, seal to reset. Yeah, so this is not a cakewalk build. There are builds that can just stomp. Can stomp. Um, Shaft, but that's not what this is. We are taking a different approach. Okay, let's get these shields. Yeah, I'm not paying attention to them. Doing cop. Alright, right, let's get this guy frozen. Can use this to freeze him. Get that sh shield strip. Just gonna wait for our stuff to come back. We're playing smart, we're playing defensively. This is our biggest threat. I just wanna get him frozen. Nice to freeze him. Oh, 
Offsuit is actually pretty good. I'm switching the right one. Alright, let's get a thing reset. We should be good reset for this guy. And we didn't. I am not playing well right now. Just need something between me and your yeah, breath. I feel like you know what the hell we're doing. Wow, I did not have anything really to do that. Here we go. Alright, one shield down. Two shields down. We're gonna get a third. Three shields down. Uh, now we start cleaning up. Swap so we get the cryo buff. Let's do it again. Yeah. Yeah, see, that makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, let's get this guy to shoot him off. Hello. That's two scrolls game. Oh. The bigger they are, the more fun it is to shoot them in the fucking face. Now that we reset, let's just reload everything. Take that. Okay. Let's see if we can't get another reset. We can't. Let's get out of here. But I did want to pop his thing so that now they can fight him while I... Yep, do that. Again, you just saw that. The range on Maggie got me that reset. After me, he, he is not. He's still caught up on that guy. Headshot. There you go. All right, let's get this guy frozen. Right, okay, there we go. It's a damn good shot, Doogie. Headshot, bitch. All right, we have plenty of time for a reset. Let's get it. Go. Let's get another reset. Let's get these shields stripped. Right, let's finish them up. Get that clean up. Shoot them in the air. Get them in the caps. My aim is just shit. Can I get the reset in time? I can. And I did. Clean up. I thought I had to be set now. Let's get out. Do you guys see that lag? Okay. Let's just do our thing. Reset, reload. We have a ton of time. Make sure everything is reloaded. Okay. I am going to put this on and get some damage. Do I have time for reset? I do. Ah. I am slow. We got some healing. Right, we're gonna stay in it. This guy is already frozen, so we can get him for a second minute. We're going airborne. All right. It's time to get serious. Close, but we nailed it. Get it all the way down. I hear you. And I missed you. The scrub. Oh, he thought he was tall. Oh, shit. Now we're gonna swap back so we have some sustain. Scoot across. Some shit. Just take this guy on. You should be able to freeze him. Yeah. Strip 
that shield and then clean him up. Alright, barrier is back, so we're gonna put a big boom master back on. on. So we can get the 10% uh, damage booster. Oh my, oh my god, can you be more freaking ridiculously jerky? I love brain trees because I can use a fire shotgun to free somebody, which is pretty sweet. Take our time. We're gonna get a piece of this guy. No there we go. Get that reload gun while we move. Break that shield. Finish him off. <laughs> With this build, you're really tanky if you get your resets so we don't have to rush let me see if I can't get this guy before my shield gets tagged oh, got tagged and that's the benefit of the big boom blaster because we're able to pick up the booster get our shield back to max so that we could then proc combo collected get hurt before she fires. I'm just gonna take my time to make sure I find her head. I have a habit of shooting her shoulder instead of her head when she's frozen. She's got Let's get a reset off of these guys. Let's clean up. Huh, I'm going back. Uh, let's see if we can get another reset off of well, look at this! Deathbringer is also my middle name! You're doing Get good. Shot, yeah. How close are they? They're close enough to do this. So we wanted to chain. This way there's no one. Um, with a... Shield up. Come on! Freaking mouse wheel. Alright, just take a minute. You're good. Down you go. Oh, time I will get a reset with this guy. No problem. And freeze. Let's get this other shield. Shot him in the shoulder. God, there we go. Headshot, bitch. Left. Just hold right uh, we're gonna there. have this guy frozen. No trouble at all. Get everything reloaded while we rotate to the other side. I'm trying to get him to help me shift this guy's shield and it worked. But my accuracy is screwed now. So we'll just use this. Before you get hurt. There you go. Let's see what's the shield situation. No shields. This guy. Let's strip these shields. Let's get this armor down from everybody. We're just gonna take our time. We'll get a ton of resets, we don't have to worry about it. Take his helmet off, this way he'll attack on our behalf. Alright, time to get out. But while we're all messed up together, let's get some shield stripped. And then we're out. We need ammo. So now they're gonna be busy fighting him. Which frees us up. We to do things that are important for us, like get ammo. I might be dead. Alright, time to clean up. 
missed it. Come on. Why am I missing? Thank you. Get his helmet off. Get reset. Yep, got the reset. I don't understand why my aim is so shit today. There you are, you big old. Get it in time. If I can. Nope. Had to get out. Alright. Uh, pick our targets. Easy freeze. How about some friggin' divine retribution? Shoot me down. This is why we have to get stuff easier you say yeah so we can just take the time and need it my aim is just shit to do let's see what we got easy reset for this person am I missing my crit spot? Taking advantage of overkill by rotating like that. Get that out of the way. I'm out of bullets, oh shit. Alright. Time to get out. They'll be singing songs about that one. I want bullets for both. Oh shit. Okay, so here's how we get out of this situation. We're going to switch to ammo refill and then we're just going to do this. Right, I'm watching. Time to get out. Yeah, I was watching the timer really, really close there. Closely. I just need to free someone so I can melee him. Alright, let's get out. Alright, we have enough to get max ammo for our shotgun by doing this. Alright, now we have max ammo for shotguns. Yeah, so there's a lot of gear switching with this uh, with this build. Okay, let's get back into it. Take care of you. Where's this guy? 
zero. zero. I don't want any hashtag YouTube references in my gameplay. Watch that one. Bullets for you. I've bullets for you. Everybody gets bullets. Get you cleaned up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just get him frozen. That comes for us all. But you first. So round two is done. Um, I think that's probably good enough. You guys want to sit here and watch me just clear the slaughter shaft. Everyone knows what that looks like at this point. But I think it kind of speaks for itself that this build is does work. It's a good mobbing build. Uh, managing ammo is going to be important uh, depending what the modifiers are. Uh, in this one, it's 20% corrosive damage. I would have been better off with a uh, corrosive gun, but whatever. Um, I like this gun a lot because in most situations where it's not a corrosive buff, it does a really fantastic job. Okay, if you got any questions, you can leave them in the comments, and um, I'll catch you guys in the next one.